because we got this. Hey YouTube, what's going on? Uh, Devin here with Comics and Stuff. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, welcome to our very first Friday posting. I know that you guys are paying attention last Monday when I mentioned that we're going to start doing double posting, so this is it. We are now posting on Mondays and Fridays, and I am unbelievably excited. Uh, today we got a special treat for you. Uh, one of my best buddies, Roberto, he's going to be starting up his own uh, YouTube channel. It's called Hyperspace News. It's going to be Star Wars based. It's going to be awesome. So I'm going to have him come on the show tonight. We're just going to kind of sit down, discuss Star Wars. We're going to talk about what's new, what's exciting, what's fun. We're going to talk about the movies, the books, the comics, the toys, the action figures. He's going to tell you guys a little bit about himself, his background with Star Wars, um, and you know what his channel is going to be all about. And then we're going to get into the discussion. Um, I also have some alcohol that we're going to consume on camera. So um, without further ado, let me introduce my buddy Roberto. Come on over, pal. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's hey, your Roberto. boy, Roberto Gomez, a.k.a. obi Rob Kenobi. And like he said, I am going to be launching my new uh, Star Wars, I guess you could say, page. But I will be talking about more than the Star Wars because, you know, hyper hyperspace. Sorry, guys. It's my first time. Um, but, yeah, well, I mean, really, I mean, I like Star Trek. I like anything space, you know? We're sci-fi so, nerds. That's that's really the best way we can put it. We both like sci-fi. Star Wars is king amongst all the sci-fi, though. Um, speaking of which, uh, Roberto, you ha you brought this awesome lightsaber. This is a prop from oh. Saber Forge. Saber Forge, and since my name is Obi Rob Kenobi, of course, Obi the Obi Wan Kenobi lightsaber is my favorite. Yeah, so, I have a lightsaber too, but it's not as cool. It's actually right over here. Oh, it's over there. Check this out. So we bought these when we went to California. Last year, we went over to the Anaheim WonderCon and bought some dope-ass lightsabers. Mine isn't, like, detailed like his. His is the Obi-Wan kind of... Mine's the black stick. I could beat somebody to death with this. You could but You could literally you could, break a yeah, forearm. Yeah, yeah no, you, you could... I mean, I, I'm sure I could bludgeon somebody with this. Um, but anyways, so I think we're going to try to spend this evening... Sorry, lightsaber. Um, I think we're going to spend this evening just kind of chit-chatting about Star Wars. Um, but first, just in celebration of Roberto opening his new... Hyperspace News Network on YouTube. Uh, my best buddy John, he brought me back some of my favorite whiskey. So we're just going to have a quick shot of the Harmony Habiki whiskey by Suntory. And I'm wondering if you guys remember, but I got some Tokyo Ghoul shot glasses. So we're just going to take a couple shots of whiskey. I'm pretty excited because when I smelled it, it smelled yeah. really smooth, so oh, pretty it's, excited. To it's won a ton of shot. awards, and it, I mean, I can sound like some sort of whiskey connoisseur and talk about how there's like a hint of like plum, and I just, fuck it, man. Cheers. To YouTube! <sighs> I fucking love that shit. Mm-mm. Actually, super, super smooth. It was really good. But now that we got that over with, I really want some more. But um, <laughs> let's let's quickly just talk about what's what's going on with Star Wars these days. Holy cow, there is so much. Um, we all just saw you know the release of Force Awakens a couple or a few months ago, back in December, and we had things that we liked and didn't like about it. Um, I know that there's been a lot of controversy, Roberto, about uh, you know like Ray being a Mary Sue like Luke, and you know there there's things I liked <laughs> about Ray and things I didn't like about Ray and. I had my own issues with the movies, but but let's let's get an overall look at what what did you really like about the movie? What was your favorite bit about the movie? I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm a visual person, so the effects, the effects, that was one of the most eye catching. I fucked up. I uh, lost my train of thought. No, okay, it's, it. it's okay. Um, we all mess up. It's okay. Where 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 did we start? Uh, what did you like? about the stars most. So you said you were a visual person. Yeah, I'm a visual person. So when it comes to effects, when it comes to green screen, when it comes to anything that isn't human, anything that isn't actually there, I want it to look as real as possible. And to be honest, they did a really, really good job at that. And the, okay. things like that in any kind of movie will automatically get two thumbs up for me. Um, aside from that, yeah, let's get to the cons. Let's tell me, tell me about, tell me about things you didn't like from the movie. I'm, I'm curious to hear what, what did Roberto not like? And while I do, I'm going to take a swig of this. Well, like bottle. everybody else who was a Han Solo fan, did not want to see him die yet. Definitely did not want to see him die. And 
I definitely there. know you were upset. We watched the movie together. <laughs> yeah, opening and, day. Uh, after the movie, he was uh, pretty pretty upset. <laughs> I gotta I, say, <laughs> I didn't I didn't talk for the first thirty forty minutes after the movie. I it took a lot of time for me to process it because I saw it coming. Because any any time that a guy walks onto a bridge, <laughs> yell and yell yells after somebody, and there's an abyss, one of them is gonna die. This is classic movie breakdown you see somebody walk into uh, onto something that they can fall off of and they're going to have a dramatic showdown one of them is going to die unless you're like watching dragon ball z in which case you get wished back with dragon balls but we're not talking about dragon i i, I digress anyways um yeah han, han solo you know I, I i get it from a real life you know irl aspect that harrison ford is like a million years old he's not actually a million years old <laughs> he's not youtube um but he didn't want to do it anymore, and I I can respect that. Um, and they at least didn't cop out. Am I right? Yeah, and it's funny that they're saying he's going to be in the next one. It's just like why why'd you guys do it? Be a force ghost? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I mean, we're we're yet to see if he's actually really going to be on it. But like you like you know, there's speculation that he might be on it. So yeah, and like you said, one of the things as a Star Wars fan that I've always found kind of kind of funny are those deep abysses like you always go to like some like generation like generator room Every time. and there's always that like never-ending hole and i've never understood why uh to be honest i've never looked into it but every time there's an abyss some shit goes down <laughs> but anyways let's now out with the old and with the new let's talk about uh you know ray finn and poe um i have a couple issues that i have seen pop up that i've actually been wanting to just talk about in general so, right after Star Wars came out, and I want to hear your opinion on this, Roberto. Right after Star Wars came out, a lot of people started saying, well, Finn and Poe are, are gay for each other. Now, that this is a touchy subject. I'm not going to say something along the lines of, well, gays have no place in Star Wars. Because, you know what, man? You're, if you're in an entire galaxy filled with trillions and trillions of planets and life forms and blah, 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 I'm like a 99.99999% positive which is basically like 100% positive that there are gay people in Star Wars. My question is um, more of, more towards the motives of why people are saying um, Poe is gay for, for Finn. I, was, I, you know, I started reading it, and I mean, like, if they are, okay, fine, that's great. I'm not going to complain um, if that's how they're written. But, you know, there were obvious attracted undertones between Finn and uh, Rey, and then... You know, Poe had two interactions with Finn. One was when they hugged, and the other one was when, you know, Finn freed him. Now, what I'm getting at is when I read a couple articles, you know, when people are speculating as to why they think they're gay, it was two reasons. One, because Poe hugged Finn. <laughs> so when two men hug, they, that makes them gay. And I don't... I don't know why that, that is. But for the other one being... And this is the one that, that gets me... And this was actually, I read this on a couple different blogs, so this is not just me talk, you know, talking out of my ass. I actually read this, and it bothered me, is that is because uh, because Poe was not womanizing enough in the movie. And any, of course, any action hero womanizes. And if you don't, you're gay. What? Like, you, know, you know, I never, watching the movie, I watched it three times. I never got that at all from the movie Me not either. once like yeah. i never ever not once did it cross my mind until i started seeing all the youtube videos all the articles and i was just like i feel like you dug into it deeper than i did because i tried to watch a video and he went on talking about it and it just it didn't interest me it just didn't seem like something that actually was a thing and like he said, even if they are, who cares? Like, why is it oh, such a well. big deal? Yeah, you know, right. we're in 2016. We're, we're, we're well beyond it. Yeah, I guess you could say. Yeah, unless you're like some crazy like anti-gay, you know, whatever. But that just makes you a jackass, and you have no place on this channel. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, I just I didn't appreciate that people were saying, well, if you're not womanizing, that makes you gay. Is that you know, I don't I. Uh, just from a human perspective, I don't appreciate that that's what it is in society, yeah. that if you're not flirting... I mean, when, when did you see Poe with other women in this movie? He was fighting the war. You know, he didn't have time to sit down and schmooze with the ladies. He was 
doing his duty. So I, I think it's unfair to deem this character gay. Rebels don't have time for that. Yeah, they're they're fighting. <laughs> yeah, they're fighting these you know wannabe Nazi first order fuckheads. And he's the number one pilot in the rebel fleet. So I Boom. mean, he's got his hands tied. Boom. So, so. take that world. Um, now, if you guys are curious um, about you know learning more about uh, Finn and Ray and Poe, there was a new prose book released uh, written by Greg Rucka. I have it over there on my counter. Um, Roberto's going to grab it really quickly. It is called uh, Before the Awakening or Before Awakening. Let's let's take a look here. Thank you, good sir. Yeah, Before the Awakening, and it has the backstory on you know Finn, Ray, and Poe. Um, now there was also uh, I guess Shattered Empire. No, yeah, was it Shattered Empire? It was a comic series. Um, released by Marvel before uh, Force Awakens came out, and it kind of talked about Poe's parents and how he was brought up in the uh, in the rebellion. And then this book also bring, sheds a lot of light on you know uh, Finn and t uh, you know the the stormtrooper that was deemed traitor. Um, and that's another. Speaking of traitor, let's talk about this for a second because we both had a lot of high hopes for Captain Phasma. Oh <laughs> man, we both had a lot of high hopes for Captain Phasma. Oh, that take the wheel, Roberto. <laughs> You know, I know they weren't trying to spill a lot of the guts on the trailers before the movie came out. But in those trailers, they really, really, you know, had me really hype on Captain Phasma. You know, she had such badass armor. Every time you saw her in the trailers, she was walking and it seemed like something crazy was going to happen. And when it got to that, you know, she didn't really do much. You know, she told, you know... Finn to put his helmet back on. She gets thrown in the trash compactor by Finn. And then that's it. Like, oh, that's it? Really? Like, you know? You know, the actress was over here, you know, talking about how she was so, like, happy that, you know, females are getting such big roles. And that had me thinking that in the movie, you know, we were going to get a lot more of her and we were going to get a lot of more action scenes. Which is, you know, really what I want to see in, like... Because I know she didn't die. Phasma's a cool character. Yeah. She looks cool. She speaks like a badass. But what the hell, man? I mean, like, okay. I, I have know. high hopes for episode 8. Because yeah. I know she didn't die. Yeah, There's yeah, no she, way they killed her off. Absolutely. No, I I have very high hopes. I really hope that we see a lot of her coming up in episode 8. Um, I really... Uh, it's that, and I'm trying to figure out what the hell is up with Rey. Um... And I really liked Ray as a character too. There now, there, there's been like zero light. There's been a ton of light shed on like Poe. He's getting his own comic book series. I think it was actually released, or no, it's released on April first, I believe. Which is let's see, let me look on my calendar. That's in like three days from now. From now, so April first ish, or right around the first week of April, Poe Dameron gets his own Star Wars comic series for Marvel. Uh, Finn, his a lot of his um, you know history was spilled in. Before Awakening, Ray is still a mystery to both of us, and I'm sure the rest of the world. A lot of people um, are wondering. Oh, sorry, my phone vibrated. Um, so a lot of people are wondering, like, how the hell could she speak Wookie? How could the hell? I mean, like that 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 was actually honest. I'm sorry, that was just the one thing that really bothered me. Did you like Ray? What did you think of Ray, Roberto? Tell me. I thought she was a total badass, but let's you know. How can I put this? <laughs> I instantly fell in love with her. She's a beautiful gal. Oh, dude, Daisy is like such a fucking cutie. Um, Holy cow. And she was a fucking badass. She'll whoop your ass, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so, there's not much I can say on her yet, just because episode seven was nothing but introduction. Mm -hmm. That's all that movie was there for, to introduce us to the new, new characters that we're going to get, you know, in the next movies. So, coming out of that movie theater, I was content with the film, you know. They were, minus the whole hand solo thing. Minus that. But other than that, you know, they did a well, the good job of introducing people, unlike, you know, the movie that just came out of Batman vs. Superman. That was shitty. Don't go watch it. Wait for Netflix. Yeah, I... I feel bad for DC. Let, okay, let me let me get off subject for just a second here. Um, I feel bad for DC because they're playing catch up and they're not, you know, they're they're not taking into. Uh, okay, I don't. Uh, this is for me. Look, you know, from the outside looking in, it doesn't appear that they're taking the time to consider how their fans feel. It doesn't look like they're taking the time to uh, develop their characters. Like Marvel took eight years, eight years. That's 
365 days times eight. That's how long they took just to get to where they're at. And then DC was like, oh, let's just put everything all together at once. <laughs> but uh, like I said, I digress. Um, let's get back on to Star Wars. Um, um, he talked about speed in filming. That's another thing I like about Star Wars and how uh, they're handling the, the films. You know, um, they're taking their time. They're pushing back dates. That's okay. That is okay. You know, I'd rather get quality versus, you know, quantity, you know, over time. Because, you know, they're going to, they can come at you fast or they can come at you slowly and properly. Yes. Now, now, Roberto pays more attention here to uh, things like Rebels and, you know, like more, like a lot of the mainstream Star Wars media. I, you guys know me, I'm the comic book nerd. You see all my shit, you see me talking about comics every week. Now, I'm trying to introduce uh, Roberto to a few comics, and I just want to talk about uh, what do you guys, you know, I want to know what everybody thinks, just, and feel free to comment below, because I'm really curious, like, what you all think about this. Um, what do you guys think about the difference between Star Wars Legends, you know, and what they used to be in, you know, the current Star Wars mythos? Because, uh, Roberto, as you know, um, Dark Horse Comics has had the reins for the Star Wars franchise for the last 20 years you know, since we were born, basically. I mean, well, um, I'm almost 23, and his birthday is right after, right before mine or right after mine? You're May, May, May 4th? 8th. 8th? Yeah, yeah, you're right. He's he's six days older than I am. Anyways, um, <laughs> anyways, uh, so yeah, basically just like a few years after we were born, Dark Horse had the reins for Star Wars, and they have done the last 20 years of Star Wars Mythos. They they had... If I'm not correct, didn't Marvel have it before Dark Horse? Yes. At first, when, when Star Wars came out in 1977, uh, Marvel Comics published the first run of Star Wars Comics. So number one all the way up to number 107. Okay. Um, and then after that, Dark Horse acquired the rights. Now, Dark Horse, the, what, what I guess there's a lot of Star Wars purists out there, and at one point, sometimes I still do consider myself a purist because it, it, it I got so into the comic book stories now and i just i don't i don't know what to do and we were just actually talking about this before the before we started filming um that you could still read the star wars legends books um but please read the new comic books darth vader this guy behind roberto's head um the new darth vader series i, I was very close-minded about this but i'm going to try to turn roberto onto this um holy cow first two issues sucked they had Darth. They did. They had Darth Vader and the Emperor bickering like a teenage girl and her mom, you know. And then issue three came out and they introduced Doctor Afra, and um, you know BT and Triple Zero and Holy Cow, whole series exploded. But um, I'm getting off subject again. Let's let's talk a little bit more about what we're expecting to see. Roberto, what do you want to see in the next couple of years? Do you, you know comic book wise, toy wise, movie wise, anything franchise wise? Um, and I'm also a, tell me about your shirt. I'm a fan of the Rebels, the show. You know, it's on uh, Disney XD. That's totally fine with me. I like it. The We're story, the story's fine. However, in the next coming years, I'd like to see another show pop up, and this time the animation be a little bit more on the Clone Wars um, type of animating. I feel like Rebels is very, you know, kiddish. Um, I'm not dogging it. You know, it's it's good stuff. Good I love how I love how the the stormtroopers looked, and uh, I really like how on Darth Vader they kept to the old Darth Vader uh, helmet in the the lenses. You can actually see through the lenses and see eyes. So next time you guys watch Rebels, pay attention to Darth Vader. Yeah, that's one thing I did not notice. So good eye on that. Like I have um, no idea. Um, other than that, the story is great. For those of you who are actually keeping up with Rebels, what did you guys think about the spiders on this uh, last episode last week? Comment below. Um, I don't want to spoil it for people who haven't seen it, so spiders are going to be in your near future. If you have a rack of phobia, don't watch it. Or you could, and then get yourself scared shitless. <laughs> and then, you know, send angry comments our way. It really reminded me of um, this old movie... I forgot what it was called. Was it Eight Legged Freaks? No, it was the uh, They're in Space. Spiders in Space? I have no idea. <clears throat> but they attack Earth. 
and um, scratch that. We'll we'll cut it out. Tell me about your shirt. Oh, my shirt. You know, I knew I was going to be on set with your main man, Devin. And, you know, he's comics and stuff. And I'm Star Wars and Star Wars what? and stuff. Where'd you get the shirt, though? That's a cool shirt. Like, <laughs> For those of you who uh, want to get, you know, Star Wars gear on the low low, JCPenney is all clearance right now on Star That's Wars. That's a JCPenney shirt. Yes. That is a nice JCPenney shirt. I would have not guessed a thousand. Honestly... I would have thought that that's from some sort of nerd outlet. I would have not thought that J.C. Penny did that. Get your keys. Good on you, J.C. Go down to J.C. Penny. All right. Everything's on clearance in Star Wars. I I highly appreciate your shirt. Now, um, Roberta, you're also going to be doing things like uh, you know Star Wars toys. You're going to be doing some Star Wars toy unboxings. Can we expect to see things like Smuggler's Bounty coming from you? Can we see things like you know the latest Star Wars toys, Funko Pops? Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Uh, Definitely the bounty box um the smugglers box has always you know caught my eye i just haven't gotten around to subscribing yet but you bet you better believe that in the next coming weeks i will be uh, unboxing the next box so uh, stay tuned for that and check it out at the uh, hyperspace news in case you forgot now, if you guys want to catch up, oops, I'm sorry, I totally dropped my iPhone charger thing. Um, we'll cut that out. So anyways, <clears throat> if you guys want to check out Hyperspace News, I'm going to put a card up on top here. It should appear just above Roberto's head. If not, you can also find his channel featured on my channel. If you liked this video, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It's going to be right here in the boob area for me, unless I'm leaning back too far. So just... Kind of right around here. Um, now, make sure you guys also follow the Facebook and the Twitter. Uh, you'll find links to those below. Make sure you check out the website. There's also going to be a link. I'm going to put it uh, <laughs> above my head. Got we'll try so to... many links. We're trying to fit them in. I know, right? I'm just going to get drowned by them. It's going to end up over my face or something. Anyhow, so yeah, like, share, follow. Make sure you check my weekly blog, uh, which comes out every Wednesday. Uh, check out Hyperspace News. Again, featured on my channel. Uh, big welcome to Roberto. Thanks Thank so much guys. for watching, guys. Um, we will catch you guys next time. Uh, Roberto will be announcing shortly when he will be start doing uh, w when he will start doing his regular releases. He'll you know come on the channel real quick and we'll talk about it. Um, but that's really it for this episode of Comics and Stuff. Thanks so much, YouTube. We absolutely adore you. Uh, adore you. And Have a great night. May the force be with you guys. Indeed. Mm -hmm.